Hello, I'm a VX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another feature preview. Feature previews are a weekly series around on my channel where I show you features that are going to be included in the next major update coming out for Minecraft on the console. These are, you know, the way I like to show this off on the PC so I can show you how these features will look, not just with screenshots, but with full gameplay so you can really understand and be ready for when it does come to the console. However, one of the big features which has never come from the PC to the console, unlike literally every other feature, is the brand new combat system from 1.9. This came out on PC at one point, uh, over, yeah, one and a half years ago, but it hasn't come to console or the Pocket Edition since then. Then, and the reason for that is just how controversial it is. That's right, this is one of the most controversial features ever, and in today's video, I want to explain why it's so controversial, and why, you know, the controversy of this single thing alone has stopped it from coming to the console and edition, and stopped those two versions catching up fully with the PC. So, hopefully you do all enjoy this video about dual wielding and about the new combat. You can like the video of Soul because that helps out the channel, and let's need do like the Soul video. But with that said, let's get straight into it, shall we? And let's start by mentioning just how controversial this really is. So, uh, to put it in perspective, the PC server community, which was a big part of what Minecraft was just as a whole, not only as the game was growing, but even to this day, uh, the biggest single version of the game played on servers is 1.8 still. It kind of spread the rest between 1.11, 1.12, and some 1.9, but basically, uh, you know, like, one, the 1.9 update was so toxic that many servers have chosen to leave their versions on 1.8, and that's really nuts when you think about it, because they're missing out on all of these other features just to avoid this one feature. So, what is this one feature they really need to avoid? Like I said, a lot of people confuse it with dual wielding, but that's now coming to the console on the Pocket Edition very slowly, you know, the ability to put arrows in your hand, or anything like that, uh, but it's actually the brand new combat system which came along with dual wielding, and you know, to some extent it's like kind of shared by it, because basically this brand new combat system has a cooldown on it. So again, there's a few changes they made with the, uh, you know, to the combat in this update, uh, the biggest of which though is the cooldown delay, which you can see is just below the cross right there. So do you see that little bar? That is the cooldown bar. And you might think like, so what's the cooldown all about? Because you can still spam, right? Like, look, you're doing the exact same thing. Well, the thing is, is let me show you an example of this. So if I have my regular diamond sword, which they tried roughly not to change, by the way, we'll talk about shields and we'll talk about uh, you know like axes and all the other weird changes they made too but if we have our normal sword which is pretty much the same except now you can't block of it because there's no right click function on any uh, weapon anymore so you can't block for your sword anymore uh, but that's not really too relevant to the uh, the thing which is uh, dangerous about it which is uh, actually the uh, the cooldown so if i have uh, some husks like i do right here uh, let me show you what happens if i spam click the husk versus doing it properly so as you can see i'm just going to spam attack him as many times as i can and it's going to take seven hits for me to kill him which is actually pretty drastic pretty serious and uh, you know that's the that takes some time. Whereas if you actually do this correctly, the way you're meant to do this update, as you can see, is to go like this. So we attack once, then we attack, then we attack, and as you can see, it was faster and only took three hits. So what was the deal with the difference there? Well, like I said, it's the cooldown. So there's no, well, I mean, technically there's a punishment, but there's no reason why you shouldn't use, uh, you know, you can't just keep attacking if that's what you like. A lot of people say like, well, I want to just knock stuff away. Well, you can attack as much as you like, but you won't deal full damage unless your cooldown bar has been full. Because as you can see, there's like an animation attached to your sword, and that animation will only, you know, like, be ready to be done again once it's complete. It's like resting, getting your sword back to normal, then getting a full-blown power, versus when you're already in the middle of the hit, and you can keep going and, like, you know, whacking over and over again, but you only get the full power when it's all the way back. So it's kind of almost a realism thing, but the reason people hate it so much is because uh, Minecraft right now, especially when you play PvP, is not about that at all. There should, that you know, Minecraft right now is all about just, you know, you spam click, and then, you know, sometimes you can kill people in a matter, you know, like a second, because hit, 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 oh, and it's already over. So, uh, yeah, the reason this is so controversial is a lot of servers don't like that, you know, the way Minecraft is right now has to change. And although I think, you know, to some extent that's like, really, you're just gonna, you know, hate the combat that much. But on the other side of things, you gotta imagine, like, these people who've been playing PvP for years now in Minecraft, they just wanna enjoy Minecraft and all that sort of stuff. They now can't, you know, like, use their old skills. They have to develop new ones. And if you've been playing Minecraft for, you know, five or six years, you can understand why that's kind of annoying. And again, I think that the best thing to do with this is just to update to the new system and just understand it. Like, oh yeah, now I have to cool down, but it means that I can be better than other people if I can master the new system. Again, right now, if you're a PvP guy and you're really upset by this, just think that even, you know, like, there isn't really many reasons to hate it, and the biggest reason is that, you know, you lose your existing skills, but think, being able to master this new skill faster than anyone else actually adds more skill to the game. You can be better than people than you would be before, because other people are going to have a hard time, you know, getting this rhythm down, like, hit, hit, hit head, etc. Whereas if you can do that perfectly, you can do that well. Also, there's the uh, mastery of the brand new axes. Uh, so basically, every weapon now has an attack speed attached to it. As you can see, the sword has an attack speed of 1.6, and the uh, diamond axe has an attack speed of 1, and uh, the stone axe has an attack speed of 0.8, and this means that, uh, the, uh, funnily enough, uh, the diamond axe takes longer to recharge. However, in this update, one of the controversial things, again, added on top of that, is the fact that the diamond axes actually do more damage than the swords. Like, why does an axe do more damage than the sword? That's because it takes longer to recharge. But this means there's 
now tactics if you can if you're really good at like charging in running back charging in it's better to use an axe because you can do something like this so attack and then run back and then attack and then run back and then you attack one more time and then that's done like that so uh, yeah that's just kind of the main point of this whole thing the fact that you can now uh, attack with axes and do more damage but even a stone axe like again if you're really really dire uh, you can uh, theoretically do amazingly of a stone axe because all you have to do is get this timing just right it's really slow but you can kill a zombie in two hits just like that like I showed you which is nuts the fact that an axe can do the same damage as a sword if you know what you're doing with it there's now like a skill component to weapons and that is why I think this update is a good thing I think adding new skill to the game adding new things for people to master is a really good thing and that's what they've done with this update if you really ask me so yeah that's the controversial thing this update first of all it's the cooldown and second of all it's the fact that axes and uh, other weapons have now got more power relative because uh, you know if you if you can do that like slower thing even though it recharges uh, you know like 60% slower the fact that it does you know 20% more damage means that now there's like a real decision to be made and it's not just diamond sword with enchantments is the best although it is worth mentioning before we uh, finish up on that that the uh, diamond sword if you uh, have it with enchantments, it's just way better than the diamond axe, pretty much under any circumstances. So just keep that in mind. Unenchanted, your diamond axe and your stone axe are good, but once you enchant the diamond sword versus enchanting the diamond axe, it's always better to do it that way. So moving on from that, let's talk about dual wielding. Because you see, I've got some arrows in my right hand, but as you will note, this update isn't just about being able to dual wield arrows. You can dual wield lots of things. You can dual wield food if you want to. I mean, I can't eat it right now, but you could eat the food in your left hand while using an axe or using a sword or using anything like that in your right hand. So there's a thing you can do. Um, so yeah, that's that's a pretty cool one. Uh, you can't actually put swords or anything else in there. A lot of people show you gameplay when it looks like this and you're like, oh, look at me, I've got two weapons. But you can't actually use that left sword because it only works for your right-click functions. So think about right-click functions right now. There's the, you know, the shield, there's eating food, there's using a spawn egg, there's placing blocks. Any of these things can be done with your left hand while you place stuff to the right. So as you can see, I'm going to spawn the pig while also, you know, spamming with my right. And that's a thing you can do in this update. So also in this update is the uh, sweeping attack. Again, there's so many different changes that like, they all kind of get sweeped together. Uh, sweeped together. But yeah, basically now uh, to make up the fact that you can't spam attack, if there's a big horde of mobs near you, uh, what you can actually do is you can sweep them all at once. So if we get some more pigs together, which is apparently tricky, uh, let's get some pigs just like that. You can actually, okay, wait, I actually messed that one up. But if they're close enough together, you can sweep them all away at once. And this means you can do way more theoretical damage. Just like that as you can see so yeah there you go sweeping attack uh dual wielding uh axe change and the cooldown and finally oh by the way dual wielding uh, so it's not just uh you know like stuff like that the biggest and um, one of the op ones in my opinion is the ability to put the bow in there and this means that you can have a sword out while you use your bow so you can fire your bow hit something, fire your bow, hit something. You can use potions, you can use torches, and it's a really big deal, and this is why it's grouped in the combat update, and that's why dual winning is going to console so slowly, because it's kind of tied in with these changes. So yeah, these four changes alone, the sweeping, which isn't too controversial, uh, the, uh, you know, the axes, which are pretty controversial, the dual wielding, which is, you know, kind of there, and the uh, cooldown, which literally has made some server owners refuse to update. Uh, all of these brand new features have been lost just for this one thing to go away, and that's something they've done this update. Finally, just because because I know the question is going to come up, like, what about shields, Toy Cat? Well, to answer your question, what about shields? Um, they're basically, um, shields in this update, uh, you know, they're a thing that replace the right click of swords. So if you want to have swords how they used to be, you have to have a sword and a shield. But the shield now blocks, I think it's 100% of all damage now. So, uh, yeah, the shield is really, really cra crazy powerful and it only really it's functional in your left hand and it's just kind of like the opposite side of the sword and shield combo so also the reason people want it so much you might think why do people want that if we've already got blocking it's because you can then combine your shield so if we take that off right now you can combine your shield with a banner if you want to so let's say you're the banner clan of the creeper with the chef hat on like i am uh, very clearly then you can now equip that shield in your right hand and you can do something a little bit like this and as you can see now you can show off your pattern and i think that's honestly like by itself a reason to have shields on console even if they don't work like even if we have um so let's uh, sleep in this bed um even if it doesn't work for instance even if we say like oh yeah well we you know like shit we, we still have blocking on swords so you'd never want to have a shield imagine uh, you know just being able to have your shield either in your right hand or in your you know just even like this would be cool because being able to do this to people i don't know it's it's just great being able to show off your banners in your hand and uh, i'd love to see this come to minecraft properly so yeah that's uh that, that's the big controversial changes it is mostly just people being upset about the cooldown and i get why but i think you know progress is something we need in minecraft because otherwise why 
why update the game ever? And yeah, that's my opinion on this one. Uh, but we will, we have to wait to see because Jeb said he's going to be working on combat before it comes to all versions. And uh, we'll see exactly what he does do. But for now, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the new combat. Again, every time I look online, it's always just a vocal minority that are really complaining. But I, you know, I understand why there is a vocal minority. Uh, to them, it feels like their game is being taken away. But just remember, even if you, if you really, really hate this, you can refuse to update your Minecraft ever again if you really want to. I wouldn't recommend it, but I guess you can, and I guess that's where this is going. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, share if you really liked it, subscribe if you're around here, and make sure you hit the bell so you see these videos every single day on your channel. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I guess I'll see you all. I can't fall down into that. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.